When we use the present value button on a financial calculator, we're making the assumption that a bond trades on the coupon date. So if we have this timeline down here, we can say that the bond has a three year life and right here is the, the initiation of that bond. And then this is one year in, this is two years in, and this is when the bond matures. Um, so when we use the PV button, we're assuming that the bonds say trading on this date or this date or this date. But what typically is happening is it trades in between those dates. So that is when we need to calculate the dirty price. So what happens, let's say, if the bond trades here? So, so it was initiated at t equals zero and then 50 days into the first year is when it trades. How would we value the bond and get its dirty price at that point? Now let's calculate the dirty price of the example bond with the parameters that I've listed here. So we're going to say that n equals 30. So at the time of the last coupon payment, there was three years until maturity on this bond. The yield to maturity or interest per year is 5%. The payment is $60 per year. And the future value is 1,000. So at the end of the life of this bond, at year three, it's going to pay a $1,000 notional value. We need to calculate the present value, assuming we're still at this date, okay? So we're just going to calculate the present value with this calculator, assuming we're at that initiation date. So 3 is N, 5 is interest uh, percent per year, 60 is the payment, and 1,000 is the future value. So then we'll calculate the present value, which gives us a value of 1,027 and 23. And that's important because we need it for the formula below. So down here, you'll see the formula for the dirty price. So we're going to use the present value, assuming that we were still at this date in the, in the, in the dirty price formula. So we'll say dirty price equals 1,027.23. And it's going to get multiplied by... 1 plus the yield to maturity divided by the number of payments per period. We only have one payment per period because we're using just a normal annual paying bond. So that is going to be 0 0.05. And then we put it to the exponent right here, this little t over big T. So little t is the number of days that's passed since the last payment date. So that's just going to be 50. And that big T right there is going to be um, the total number of days in that period, that coupon period. And since this is just an annual bond, that's going to be like a normal year of 365 days. So if we, if we put all of that into our calculator, we'll find that the dirty price is actually equal to $1,034.00. And so you'll notice that this dirty price is higher than the normal present value because when we moved in time, so we went from this initial maturity date to 50 days, all of these payment dates got closer, which means that they're going to be um, discounted by less because we don't have to wait as long to receive those payments. In order to get from the dirty price of the bond to the clean price of the bond, we have to calculate accrued interest. And accrued interest is just the interest that's accrued since the last coupon date up until the point of the sale of the bond. And in this example, we've been using 50 days. So accrued interest will be equal to the annual payment, right, $60, times the percent of the year that has passed, which is just 50 days out of 365 days, have passed. So we can say that $8.22 of interest has accrued so far. And finally, we can calculate the clean price of the bond, which is just the price of the bond, not including the accrued interest. So clean price equals dirty price that we calculated earlier of $1,034.12 minus the $8.22 of accrued interest to give us a total clean price of $1,025.90.